Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk. And this decal set includes seven decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Metal Hawk, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Metal Hawk really doesn't look too bad. He is colorful, yet he's still bland, if that makes any sense. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got some great sculpted details. Love the head sculpt there. He's got the yellow helmet with the blue eyes and the gray face. Gray intake pylons right there beside the head. The torso is a gold yellow with a red Autobot insignia dead center. A little bit of red on the sides. Nice red wings. Arms are completely blue except for the gray for the elbows and fists. He's got gray thighs, gray knees, red knee spikes, blue shins, and red feet. So, like I said, all in all, he's not bad looking. He's just lacking some detail. Now, speaking of lacking detail, here's his weapons. This is his tail fin double cannon. Very plain and very gray. The same can be said about his sword. Lots of nice details, but still just very plain. So there you go, guys. Metal Hawk in robot mode before. And after. Metal Hawk gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start with the head. He gets new eye decals. I went with a blue. You do have options. You have green and red as well. But I always go with blue because, you know, the old school G1 animation. Also, he gets new gold for his antennas. New decals right there inside those shoulder pylons. New gold decals there on the side of the chest and here on the center around the Autobot insignia. Now, you do have a couple of options for the Autobot insignia. You have the black that I have right there, or you have one with a gold background. I did the gold at first, but once I added the accent for the middle of the chest, I thought that was way too much and traded out for the black. Now, unfortunately, I tore the gold decal when I took it off, so unfortunately, I can't show it off. New decals right there underneath the pecs. Down on the waist, you got a gold belt with a little red triangle. On the arms, you get pinstriping on top of the shoulders with a little yellow right there, red decal for the bicep, and a red and silver decal for the wrist. Also new wing decals right there. Moving on down to the legs, you get new pinstriping style details for the calves. So all in all, Metal Hawk looks so much better now. But Metal Hawk wasn't the only one that got decals. So did his weapons. Here is the tail fin gun with new red, blue, and gray decals. And to be honest, I think it looks a little bit like Starscream now. And you do get those decals on both sides. And what I really like is the sword. They did a really good job with this. You got these nice chrome decals on the blade. Down on the hilt, you get gold decals. And what I really like is they have a black decal that filled out that empty space where the tube was. And what's awesome, both sides get the decals. So great job on that. So there you go, guys. Metal Hawk in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Metal Hawk suffers the same as he did in robot mode. He's colorful, yet still very bland. He's just lacking 
so much detail. Now he's got a lot of sculpted detail, which looks really good, but he just needs more color to make him pop. I do like the red canopy right there. Despise the gray. There's just so much gray there, there, and there on the tail fins with the guns now. And I don't know, I just do not like this jet. I think it's just so very plain looking, no pun intended and he really needs some help. So there you go guys, there's Metal Hawk in his jet mode before and after. And this is what I'm talking about. Metal Hawk looks so good now in his vehicle mode. Now taking a closer look at the vehicle, starting here at the front, he's got a new decal right there on the tip of the nose cone and these little gold accents all along the upper nose cone right there some pinstriping on the side and a new blue decal that extends the blue nose cone further into that gray area that now gets new gray or darker gray decals kind of breaks all of that up along the back here we got more pinstriping a little gold decal there red decals here more pinstriping some gold vents and speaking of vents almost forgot you got vents right there on either side. New decals for the wings that look really good. These little pinhole cover decals right there to cover up those unsightly chrome pins. And new tail fin decals. You got gray right there for the red tail fins on either side. And you can see the decals for the guns that are now the tail fins with the red, blue, and dark gray. And that's pretty much it for Metal Hawk in his vehicle mode. And I tell you, I love the looks of this. So there you go, guys. Metal Hawk in vehicle mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Transformers Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk is one I was waiting on since I first opened this figure. As I said in the intro, I thought this guy was good, but he was just so plain. But man, did Toy Hacks fix that. Robot mode looks great. The jet mode looks great. And I love what they did for the weaponry. So yes, if you have a Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk, this Toy Hacks decal set comes highly recommended. And don't forget, when you visit ToyHacks.com, to use my promo code PATRIOT at checkout to get 15% off your order. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members, because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!